And now it's time for Jose's Theater. And now, here's the host of the show, Jose! Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Hello, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Hello, welcome to Jose Cedar. I'm your host, Jose. And today, we have some special guest stars. Who's here? First, first, we have Bob from Minions. Say hi, Bob. <laughs> we have Alistair Cookie of Monster Beast Theater. Hello there. Pippin, and hello there. Alistair Cookie here, welcoming, welcome, welcome to Jose's Theater. Yes, yes. Say hello to Suki, Molly, hey everyone, Layla, Walter, and Tui. And today we're going to talk, in, in today's Molly book, we're reading Very Itchy Days with blueberries and muffins, right? So, let's read, right? Okay. Here we go. I'm super excited today because my family is going to pick blueberries. Is that right? Jock means blueberries in Gwich'in. <laughs> yeah. We love to eat blueberries and we like to cook with them too. So we need lots of chalk. That means blueberries in Gwich'in. Look, see? Look at that. Look at that. Ready to go, Molly Ask? Molly's mom, Layla, thanks for watching the store. She says to Tui, happy to help. Tui says, don't forget the bug repellent. Repellent, right? I grabbed the repellent off the counter. It will keep mosquitoes from bitting us. Oh boy, oh boy. When we arrived at the river, there were tons of mosquitoes. Let's get to the water. Walter says they wouldn't be so bad there. We jumped in the canoe and start to paddle, but the mosquitoes follow us past the bug repellent, says Walter. Dad sprays the repellent. That's odd. This smells like dog perfume, that is. He says that that's why you spray on dogs when they roll something stinky. Oops. Oops. I spray, I just sprayed my dog, Suki, with dog perfume. Perfume this morning. I must have mixed up the bottles of the counter. Oh boy, look at that. That's not good, right? Okay. Go. Look at that. We make sure we head to shore and make a fire. The smoke keeps the mosquitoes from bidding us. The problem is we can't pick jock, right? That's blueberries in Gwich'in, right? If we're stuck by the fire, we really need repellent. My grandmother used to make repellent from plants, but I don't know the recipe, says Layla. Look at that. Then I think of something. There's a book Back at home, they that that might have a recipe. I decided to call Tui, but first I have to to climb a tree to get phone service. See, okay, I'm six. Here we go. I ask Tui to find the book. I'll call when you. You, you, when I find a, find the recipe, but here's an idea. While you wait, he says, I heard that the elephants cover their skin 
in mud to keep bugs off. We decide to try it. We take the mud from the river and put it on our arms and faces. But the mosquitoes keep bitting us. Look at that, see? Look at that, right? It's time to give up on the berries and head home, says Dad. Mom and I, and I stay by the fire and Dad canoes back for the truck. Mom sees how, you mean Layla sees how disappointed I am. Well, try another day, she says. Look, this is terrible. See, this is terrible. Just then, Tui calls. Hey, I remembered that elephants use mud to cool off, for not for bugs. He says, "No kidding." I say, while we're on the phone, Tui finds the recipe. We need four plants: yarrow, stinkweed. Marigold and wild onion. Look, look at that. See, Mom and I start to look for plants. We need. Tui sends a picture of the ingredients to my phone. We use the picture to make sure that we have the right plants. Look at this. We put everything in a. Bucket. I take a video of us making the recipe. Right. We squish up the plants. Bussy plants. Mom says that means thank you in. Co, you, can. Here we go. <laughs> thank you for protect, for protecting us from mosquitoes. Says mom. Got see. Isn't that nice. After we squish the plants, we add a little water. Time to test it out, says Mom. I put the mi mixer on my arms and face. I stand with my arms wide. I see. I wait to see if the bugs will bite me, but I don't feel anything. I'm not. Being bitten, the recipe worked. Look at that, see. Just then, Dad pulls up in the trunk. It took so long to get the repellent that it was time to go home. We'll have to pick berries another time. But wait, I see something. There were blueberries right on the bush by the truck. I run over and pick a few. Right. Look at that! See, see, see. <laughs> it was all in just in time. I pick, I pick just enough chuck. That's blueberries and quinchin, right? To bake, actually, especially one muffin, right? Yeah. My parents and I decide to split it with Tui. Thanks for watching the store," says Layla. "Let's eat," Walter says. Well, that's the end. Did you like the story? I sure did. Did you like the story, Bob? Yeah. Well, that music means that's all the time we have for today. Join us next time for another episode of Jose's Theater. Until then, keep reading. And as Molly of uh, Denali Week continues, so it's goodbye for Jose's Theater. So goodbye, bon appetit. <laughs>